hold it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. I just got ready for the day. I had my breakfast and everything. Sophie was actually really good in the swing. Um, sometimes now that she's a bit older, she started just fasting there a bit. Um, yeah, I think she's getting hungry, so I just prepared a bottle for her. Um, so I'm gonna take this in here and I'm gonna start feeding her. We got some IKEA parcels. We had an IKEA delivery this morning. Um, and I'm gonna show you that a bit later, but I'm just gonna grab Sophie and give her a feed now. Shall we change your nappy? Yeah. Oh, I bet you're getting hungry. I bet you're getting hungry. She was on the breast for quite a while this morning, weren't you? But it's been, I think, two and a half hours. So we try to feed every two and a half to three hours, don't we? Don't we? During the day, at least. Hey, cutie. Oh, big yawn. She's got a bit of a baby acne, I think it's called. Um, Victor had this when he was, I think, around her age too. So it's just kind of around her forehead and a little bit here. And I know it's just something that happens to some babies and it just goes away, doesn't it? Yeah, it will go away. And she also has a bit of dry skin, but it's kind of around her eyes. And I don't really want to put anything, like any cream around her eyes. So I'm just going to leave it because I know it. it's also something that goes away, isn't it? Their skin is still getting used to being in the outside world. I just love these little Bambi um, joggers that we got. I got these um, in a set on Vinted um, before she was born. You can find so many cute clothes on Vinted and um, they're like brand new or you know worn a few times because babies only wear them for a little while. Are you ready for Milkies? Let's see. Ready for Milkies? Oh yeah, she's looking for Milkies. Okay. She is having a bottle now. She's still um, mixed feeding, so she gets breast milk and, oh, careful. She just <gasps> slammed her face, her hand in her face, didn't you? Yeah, so she still gets uh, breast milk and uh, a formula as well, like a bottle. So we're doing mixed feeding and it's, it's going really well, isn't it? She's gaining weight really well, um, so that's really nice to hear. And she's actually, we've got such a busy morning, I feel like just a bit hectic. Victor's just um, off to school. My husband's doing the school run. It's such a rainy and windy day this morning, but hopefully spring is on the way. Um, and we had an IKEA parcel delivered. We ordered a few bits for her. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you what we got for her and also a few things for Victor as well. Oh, slow down my Sophie. Sometimes in the beginning when she's really hungry she's just like gulping down i have to stop her just to kind of pace a bit you are so cute is that good milky yeah and i've also got a health visitor appointment in like half an hour i think it's just going to be um like a video call with the health visitor um they came to our house um i think about two weeks after i gave birth um, and now we just have like a phone call or like a video call with her just a general checkup probably to see how we're doing um, I do want to ask her about the baby acne just I can't remember with Victor if I did anything for it or if I just left it on its own to heal but I think that's what I did yeah <clears throat> so I'm just gonna ask her to remind me if there's anything I need to do for that um, and I also want to ask her about her umbilical cord or not her her uh, belly button. So she has a bit of a hernia. I know it's very common in babies. Apparently a lot of them just have them. 
just that's just how they're born i think it's just a bit of tissue that's kind of coming out and it generally just resolves on its own um victor didn't have that so i have no idea what to expect with that um but she does a little bit they said it's not something they're concerned about um, it usually goes on its own by the time they're one i think they said it's only if it doesn't resolve by the time they're like four or five that they actually look into it and but the thing i want to ask about is so since it's kind of sticking out a bit i feel like the some of the bit of the belly button is kind of still inside i don't know how to say it it's just kind of covered a bit by the by how bulging it is um, and so it it's still a bit wet you know how when their cord falls it's still a bit wet and it's supposed to dry and heal and I asked I think two weeks ago I had an appointment and I asked about it and they said it will just take a bit longer because she has this hernia she's gonna take longer for it to dry um, but yeah I just want to ask again maybe I'll show it to her on the video see what she thinks if there's anything I can do for it but yeah I'm sure it's fine it's not infected or anything it's just yeah it just looks a bit strange to me I guess she is doing so well she is I haven't even told you yet but she is six weeks a bit over six weeks now aren't you and she is getting so big she's not in her newborn clothes anymore the zero to one month clothes I kind of had to put them away because she doesn't fit in them anymore and I'm keeping a few of them for memories just like a couple of um, onesie pajamas that she had at the hospital um, yeah I'm just keeping a couple of things um, in a memory box where I have a Victor's things as well but yeah everything else is just going away but yeah I can't believe she's outgrown those already I, I just I can tell she's kind of you know filling clothes a bit more because she's a bit chubbier now and she's got those rolls on her thighs and oh, it's just so cute it's just so cute you are getting so big aren't you shall we do a little burp yeah i think you might be ready for a burp i try to burp her like two or three times when i give her a bottle don't we because it really helps them with kind of the gas and just not being so uncomfortable oh big burp oh what's your bit coming out she doesn't usually spit up it's very rare that she does but she did just now <laughs> I'll just hold her up for a bit and then we'll try some more milkies in a little bit. She just feels like such a calm baby for the most part. Like obviously she cries and she fusses like any other baby or maybe I'm just more relaxed about it. I think maybe that's what it is because she does cry and she does have this kind of witching hour, you know what they call it, in, um, in the afternoon where she doesn't want to be put down. Like during the morning she will sit in her swing. Um, <clears throat> And she will sleep in this baby nest during the day when I can keep an eye on her and um, have a nap in her uh, crib as well. But in kind of the afternoon after Victor comes home, maybe it's because it's louder, um, but when Victor comes home, it's just kind of a bit more chaotic. Not because of him, it's just kind of, you know, getting dinner ready and then she's a bit more fussy. And so I just put her in the carrier a lot of the times. But yeah, she's just such a calm baby otherwise, I feel like. And she's slept so well lately, haven't you? She's actually, I think she's always been a good sleeper. Um, or maybe it's all the things that I am doing. I took a, a sleeping, like a baby sleep course by um, Kara. It's taking care of babies. It's her newborn sleep course. And honestly, it's one of the best things I spent money on for the baby because it really helped. Yeah, because it's helped so much. Like I've learned so much from it. And I have been implementing all of the things I learned there, so I'm not sure if it's that or if it's just how she is. Like maybe she's just naturally a good sleeper, but I do think every, everything I did as well helped. So yeah, it's just kind of just kind of making sure I feed her to um, like two and a half to three hours during the day, and I do wake her up if she sleeps longer than that. Um, and then at night I let her sleep for however long she wants to. And now. Um, so in the beginning she was waking up every three hours during the night anyway if you watched my kind of night with a newborn video then you already know but um now she's actually started sleeping longer stretches which is amazing she slept last night she slept well i think it was a seven hour stretch from the beginning of one feet to the next i think i lost my train of thought there because we just had the appointment the health visitor appointment it went really well it was kind of a half an hour them just kind of asking questions to see how we're doing both sophie and i 
Oh, and she actually did say um, we should book a GP appointment to see her belly button just to make sure, you know, I don't think it's infected. She said it looks fine. It's just, um, it's still wet and it kind of hasn't healed properly. So she said they might, can you tell me? So she said they might put something on it, like maybe some uh, medicine or maybe something to help it heal. Um, so yeah, we have an appointment for tomorrow to see, to see what the GP says. But I think what I was saying is about her sleep. Is that what I was talking about? I kind of lost my train of thought there, but yeah. Um, last night she, so she had her last feed at around 6 p.m. Um, that's kind of when she usually has it. She's kind of fallen into a bit of a routine herself. I didn't really put her on it because I think, you know, it's hard to do that with a newborn. But yeah, so she had her last feed at 6 and then she kind of goes down for actual sleep at around 7ish um, and then she woke up at 1am for a feed so that's 7 hours from you know the start of one feed to the start of next um, which is pretty amazing Victor never did that as a baby but I also think I didn't really um, help him get there with her I'm also doing a lot of things to kind of help her sleep better so I do think it's helped um, <clears throat> so yeah, she had that feed and then she wakes up every, you know, kind of three hours after that. So she had another feed at 4 a.m., um, which my husband did. Um, he bottle fed her at 4 a.m. And then um, she had another one at around 6.30 a.m. That's kind of when we started our day, didn't we? Um, and she was breast breastfed for that one at 6 a.m. or 6.30 a.m. So yeah, that's kind of how our nights have been going and I think they're going really well. And I'm just so, so happy about that because yeah i'm just feeling grateful to have a good sleeper and i'm feeling quite rested myself too because i usually go to sleep um when she does <laughs> like not really 7 p.m but um you know i will put her down and then i will come downstairs and maybe pump a bit more or you know just kind of do a few more things and then at around 8 p.m is when i will also go to sleep because <laughs> i just feel like we're in a phase of life where it really helps if i get my sleep you know so I don't feel sleep deprived. So yeah, it is kind of broken sleep, but it is not bad at all. Like I feel quite rested actually. And she has naps during the day um, in her like little nest that we have here. Or she contacts naps on me, which I really like. Or in her swing sometimes. Um, and I do try to practice one sleep a day, like one nap in her crib. So I try to put her down there and I just kind of, you know, swaddle her, give her a dummy, put on white noise, make the room dark, um, basically everything that I do for bedtime as well. And that's just kind of her cue that it's sleepy time. Um, and I'm just trying to practice, you know, letting her sleep by herself or like go to sleep by herself, which has been going really well. And I think that's one of the reasons why she sleeps really well too. And so she will kind of sit there, maybe, you know, stare around for a while. Um, and then she slowly goes to sleep. If she cries, I will pick her up and just kind of give her cuddles until she calms down and then I put her back down in her crib and you know just kind of do that all over again but for the most part she will just sit in there for a while until she falls asleep sometimes I'll put my hand on her chest um, and kind of wiggle her a bit and that helps but yeah I think it's not about getting it perfect like even if she she's not having it um, I try not to get frustrated and I just pick her up and do a contact nap and that's fine she's so little anyway but I just try to get that practice you know it's just like a skill that they need to practice um, so we try to do that once a day and I think it's really helpful. So um, we are gonna go and unpack the IKEA boxes now, or unbox the IKEA parcels and I'm so excited to see everything that's in there. I think she might be ready for a nap soon, aren't you? Yeah. Aren't you? Can I have a smile? Yeah? Can I have a smile? Hey cutie cutie. Look at those cheeks. She's starting to get some real cheeks, aren't you? Mm. You're getting a bit tired now. Yeah, she scratched her face there. I need to cut her nails so often. Don't I? Because she scratched her pretty little face. I'm not sure if you can see, but... Yeah, you did, didn't you? You just hacked into your face. Okay, so we're gonna practice a nap in her next to me crib. So she's got her swaddle on, she's got a dummy on. Let me just pop the white noise on. So I just have an old tablet that we use for white noise. Okay, so I put down the blinds um, and I'm just gonna kind of, you know, get out of her vision and let her try to fall asleep. And if she gets a bit fussy, I will put her dummy back on and just kind of maybe do a bit of this, 
just to kind of help her calm down um she will usually go down by herself but yeah we're going to change her crib today um because i just have a few reasons why and you don't have to technically because i think they can still fit in this until they're about six months old or even more um but i don't like the fact that it has a lot of loose kind of padding here like it's not very firm um and she has started moving around quite a bit like she's quite mobile now she's also bigger in here um and i've found her a few times where she's like this <laughs> she's not like properly sitting like this she's more on the side um and i just don't want her to get with her face on one of these padding things i know it's not safe for the sids so we are switching it to a proper crib and the one we have is the gulliver one from ikea um and it's not too big so i think it will fit here maybe it will move the bed just slightly further um, but I think it will fit here. So that's what we are planning to do. And I think she's already falling asleep. But yeah, I don't know if it's just me, like maybe I'm just more paranoid, but I don't know, maybe it's because of all the anxiety that I had during pregnancy and just kind of going through all the, you know, baby losses and everything. It's like, you know, you know, there's that statistic that one in however many people experience a miscarriage and you always feel like it's never gonna be you. Um, and you know someone has to be that statistic and that was me and I think because of that it also made me more anxious about these things so I just want to do things that make me feel good and you know do as much as I can to keep her safe which obviously every mom does you know no judgment whatever you decide to do for your baby but this is what I am doing to make myself <laughs> feel good just to feel like she's safe so yeah, she has fallen asleep so I know SIDS is very rare but kind of loose padding and padded sides to the crib is, uh, those are a few of the things that, that can cause that to happen and also overheating and things like that so yeah I'm just trying to be mindful of those things and just so that I feel like she's safe um, and yeah it's just what I have to do for my mental health you don't have to you know change your crib if you have a next to me crib um, I don't think you have to change it officially until they're like six months old but yeah so she looks like she's falling asleep so that's that's really good it went really well today it's not always like this like please don't feel bad if you're looking at this and your baby doesn't go to sleep right away you're not doing anything wrong it's just like practicing just like a skill um yeah i think that's something i had to learn with my first baby i was sometimes frustrated because i felt like i was doing something wrong um and that's why he wasn't sleeping right but you're not like it's just it takes them practice and the more they practice doing this the easier it will get um and that's what we ended up doing with victor too but it just I think we started that when he was like six months old just kind of practicing putting putting him down like this um and it obviously took him much longer to learn it um but yeah with her we started right away when she was born and i feel like she's already quite good at it so let's go ahead and open those parcels i'm so excited so this is the crib this is the crib we had with victor as well and it's just bringing back so many memories i love it it's the ikea gulliver one and it's quite a small one so it fits really nicely next to the bed nobody told me to settle down day nights and late nights don't get around but there's something about you something about you i like about you i like I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared to lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us. My husband's just upstairs finishing up the crib. It's nearly. Um, build. So I'll show you what else is in our IKEA order. So we got, so we got another one of these toilet seats for um, children to go upstairs. We already have one downstairs, which is brilliant. It's so easy to clean, um, but we had some issues with the one that's upstairs, so we wanted to replace it. So I got another one of these IKEA ones because it's so good, so easy to clean. Um, I highly recommend them, and they're so cheap as well. 
and then i got another one of these um baskets i really really love this one and i'm going to use this to keep some of um, her bottles like the baby bottles up in a cupboard um or just kind of like spare things that we have like dummies um and just everything that's kind of shot in there a bit i wanted to have somewhere to put it so i got one of these um and then i got two of these lights which i'm so excited to give it a try i'm not sure how it's gonna work but i saw these um and I wanted to kind of elevate my wardrobe a bit. I'm trying to minimize it and making make it more of a capsule wardrobe that I really, really love. Um, and I wanted to have these just to kind of make it a bit more special. So these are just some LED lights that have sensor on them so that when you open the wardrobe doors, they will um, turn on um, like the light. Yeah, I haven't tried them yet, so I'll let you know how I get on. But um, yeah, I'm excited to give these a go and they weren't... They weren't expensive either and then we also got one of these steppers to go upstairs in uh, victor's bathroom upstairs too because we have one of these bigger ones downstairs which is perfect and we also have a smaller one that's in the upstairs bathroom but it's not big enough for him to reach the toilet like to sit on it by himself so we got another one of these bigger ones so he can actually <laughs> reach the toilet by himself i got one of these mattress protection covers for the baby's um, cot it's one of those waterproof ones um so that you know it keeps us protected i got that and then also for baby's crib i got um a set of sheets so these uh, this is just a set of two sheets just plain white they're fitted and they fit the cot really well so i got that um so she's gonna be all good with her new crib in there and also for the baby i got um one of these it's a waterproof um changing mat so you can take it with you like a travel one but i want to use this downstairs because we had those disposable ones when she was you know a newborn and when we were in the hospital it's just those were really handy both for her and for me postpartum but now that she's a bit older i don't want to keep using those disposable ones i want to you know have something a bit more environmentally friendly if you know what i mean so i got um this one so we can reuse it and you can wash it we actually had one of these i i actually fe featured it in one of my videos we had one of these um, from when Victor was a baby like five years ago um, and I was planning on using that and I started using it and it wasn't waterproof anymore like when she had a wee on it it went under like it went through um, I think it's because it was just so old and we used it so much we washed it so many times it's probably kind of worn down the waterproof fabric so I got a new one of those um, and they had these this cute one in Ikea then for Victor we got an abacus which he is really loving mats at the moment he loves mats at school he's really good at it too so we wanted to get one of these for him to practice on um so he was quite excited when we told him he's gonna be so happy when he comes back from school then i got some night lights we have these um two of them one is upstairs in like the landing and we have one down here so we wanted to have two more um because we just keep these um, around the house it's really handy when you come downstairs if you need to like make a bottle or grab something from the kitchen it's nice to have a night light um and also in our room and with victor's room and as well just to have a little bit of light but not too much and then oh i forgot i ordered these it looks kind of strange but it's a shoe like storage rack thingy um i need to kind of assemble it i think just need to pop this up but um yeah it kind of looks like that so you pop one shoe down there and then one shoe on top and yeah it's just supposed to maximize space to kind of have more you know space to put all your shoes so i'm planning on putting it in this tv unit just on that side where we keep some of our shoes next to the door um so i got five of them i'm gonna see how i get on maybe i'll get more in the future but yeah just wanted to test them out so i'm excited about that i will probably feature it in a future like cleaning um you know kind of organizing video and then for victor we also got in that huge box i'm not sure if i'm gonna take it out because he wanted to open up his parcel so i'm gonna put all of these things in a box for him to open when he comes home um but we got him that that big um easel that has like a chalkboard on one side a whiteboard on the other and you can also put paper on it so i got a roll of paper it's a really big one he's gonna absolutely love it i'm sure and then i also got these um markers for the whiteboard um yeah he loves playing schools um and like he pretends he's the teacher and we're the students he loves doing that um i find it so funny how you know he spends like however many hours at school and then he comes back home and he wants to play schools like how are you not sick of that yet but yeah that's what he wants to do so i'm sure he will love this and kind of pretending to be a teacher um so yeah i think that's everything we got mainly thanks for the kids isn't it it's always like that but yeah when she wakes up from her nap 
we're gonna put the crib in her room and I'm just so excited and she's awake she slept for uh, quite a while I did come in here to kind of help her transition a bit because when they're so little they're not very good at transitioning from one sleep cycle to the next yeah are you smiling at me yes yeah, so I just came and put her dummy back on and just kind of wiggle her a bit so I helped her get back to another sleep and she slept for about I don't know an hour and a half I think but with my help obviously shall we change your nappy and have another feed because it's been nearly three hours so I think she must be hungry you must be hungry coming Sophie I'm just gonna put this on her changing mat I just put a big muslin cloth so that it's easy to change in case it gets wet um, and I don't use like the disposable ones so yeah, I'm just gonna pop that there we need some more nappies so these are the nappies that we're using and we actually had to move up to size 2 now she's getting so big um, and I just wanted to show you if you get Pampers nappies there's a little code inside there you can kind of see it Yeah, so there's a little code inside the packs and if you scan 10 codes um, you get one free pack of nappies from Pampers they have a little app I think it's called Pampers Club or something yeah just a little tip if you're a mom who also uses Pampers you can get one free pack of nappies for every 10 which we buy anyway so might as well is that right okay I'm gonna change her nappy then give her a feed and then see what we can do with your little crib so I just finished feeding her and I'm also going to pump in a little bit. I'm going to use my uh, breast pump, it's the mom cozy one. I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is just a bit like the electronic bit and then it's got the thing that goes on the bottom to collect it out. So I'm just going to pop it on for about like 10 or 15 minutes. And yeah, I've just put her in this thing to see if she sits in there while I make lunch for us. Excuse if you can hear that I've got laundry going on. Always got laundry going on with the newborn um so yeah i'm gonna make some lunch because i'm starving and hubby's just trying to he just realized we built the crib on the landing in the hallway and we just realized it actually doesn't fit through the door so he has to take about one side pop it in and then put it back on so he's just doing that now so this girl he just had another feed it's nearly 3 p.m didn't you you are getting so big and we've kind of made some progress in here i mean it doesn't look like it but we have so we just moved the drawers from this side of the bed to the other one i'm gonna put these under this side of the bed oh what's the matter is it your tummy tums and yeah so we've moved the drawers here yeah so i've kind of decluttered it a bit under there as well i'm kind of minimalizing my wardrobe a lot and yeah now the crib is there so it fits really nicely it actually doesn't take too much space it's not too big compared to um the next to me anyway uh, and i've popped the baby monitor up there i just used some command strips to glue it <laughs> to our bed um and yeah i've washed the um crib sheets i've just popped them in the wash quick and they're on the radiator hopefully they'll be dry by tonight give it a test it doesn't have sheets on but <gasps> look at you look at you you look so tiny now in a big bed so i'm gonna try to pop these under the bed quick and just kind of tidy a bit more in here nobody loves me better nobody loves me better nobody loves me better. just refilled the nappy caddy to have for tonight she's got pjs there so it's kind of nice to have it all ready and this is what it's looking like now yeah. are you excited yeah your own easel Mm -hmm. We're gonna put the TP away for a bit so we have space for it. So, hopefully, in this, it's, it's the whiteboard and the, uh, it's the whiteboard in there. How cool was that that the parcel did arrive but, but before I got home from school? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the right after did, you were left for school. I didn't, I didn't see it come in, in, in because I was at school. Yeah. yeah. I think we have to build it. I'll help build the easel. You do have to build it, Kathy. <laughs> it's, it's got things with. I'll please don't worry, I'll also help. Okay. Let me know if you want us to do it together. These are really cool, aren't Can you they? guess what this is? What is that? A briefcase. <gasps> A briefcase. Like the one in the fox game. Yes. Cool. Yeah, to keep it in your briefcase. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're assembling the shoe racks, aren't we? You see, let's see, do they fit? Yeah, that's cool. You can also put it lower, can't we, if we want to. Yeah, and those are really cool. Maybe we'll get some more next time. So we're putting the TP away for a while because we weren't using it, were we? No. Yeah, so we're just going to put it in storage until maybe Sophie's a bit older. And Victor's got his drawing board. Sophie's fast asleep, she's got the white noise and we're going to have a pizza party Friday night. gets a little bit fussy yeah she's falling asleep now so i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video thank you for coming along with us and yeah, i will see you in my next one bye guys